How are you? How are you doing today? My name is Tony Martinez. If we haven't had a chance to meet yet, um, if you're watching this video right now, you've probably gone through a couple things. You've gone through contracting if you're licensed or you've scheduled your pre-licensing study program already. You've already gone through an orientation of kind of how our back office works, so on and so forth. And you're really at that 90% that line. You're at the 90 yard line to get you out on the field and up and going. And one of the things that you're doing right now is called the financial needs analysis module. Okay. Um, my name is Tony Martinez. I'm the owner and founder of the company and a little background on me. So you understand where this, this FNA comes from. I come from the wealth management world. I worked for a company called Northwestern mutual for about six years. And in that model, not sure exactly what model you come from, but in that model, there's zero leads in that model. There's zero recruiting in that model. There's zero access to variety of companies. Um, now, if you research that company, you'll learn that Northwestern Mutual has one of the best training programs in the industry. They're constantly, they're constantly back to back to back to back, the number one training platform. And so what you guys are about to go through is what I was taught. It's, it's what helped me make a six-figure income multiple years um, on a 50% contract selling two products, term life policy, whole life policies. Back in 2000, and let me think here real quick. That was back in 2008, 9, 10, 11, 12, 8, 9, 10, yep, about five years, maybe a little bit of 2007 as well, too. In a, in a time where, if you think about it, there was a lot of stuff going on with the market. 9 11 had passed, the market wasn't doing well, real estate was through the roof, technology wasn't where it is today, um, lead generation, social media isn't where it is today. And when you're doing nothing more than networking, building rapport with people without having a lead, when you're not recruiting in any facet and you're literally having to figure out a way to generate income by selling products, you've got to become really good at selling products. You've got to learn the ins and outs of selling products because it's the only line of income that you could generate. There's no override because there's no team, right? There's no high commissions, 90, 100, 110, 120. There's 50% commission and there's no lead list. There's no speed dialer. There's no Jarvis that creates a lot of speed when, you know, with regards to your ability to schedule meetings. There's your ability on the field with a client and every single meeting matters that much. So this module that you're going through, it's going to teach you a couple things. It's going to teach you how to do what's called the approach language. Approach language is your your five minute elevator pitch when you get in when you get in the door of that client that helps the client feel comfortable about your expertise and gets the client to start talking about what they want to address. That's the first thing you're going to learn. The second thing you're going to learn about is um, how to explain what's called the four. And sorry, I'm taking my notes over here. It's it's how to ex, how to create the psychology, right? What questions do you ask? the client in order to get them to understand the importance of life insurance. Life insurance is an emotional sale. An emotional sale requires you to try to get them to go back to a time in their life where insurance played a pivotal role for them. And some people have experienced a loss. Some people haven't experienced a loss. Those who have, you want to bring them back to that world to get them to remember what that experience was like, whether it was a good one or a bad one, whether they had insurance or they did it. OK, and you're going to learn that in this financial analysis module, what are the questions that I ask to get that person back into that world? Then, OK, you're going to learn about what I call the four types of insurances. You're going to learn a presentation that I give to explain all four types of insurances. OK, and, and the analogies that I use in order to explain each one of them, because at the end of the day in sales, your job is to get the person across from you to understand the importance and the value of what you're bringing to the table. That's the definition of a sale a transference of emotion of a product. And you're going to learn that through a presentation I call the four types of insurances. Once you finish doing that, you're also going to now learn how to do what's called a dime analysis. This dime analysis helps to figure out, you know, how much insurance somebody needs. Okay. So you, you're going to go through the approach, the intro, you're going to go through the psychology, getting the person in the right mindset. You're going to go through the presentation of insurance. Then you're going to go into figuring out how much insurance. And then lastly, you're going to go into a budget right? What is the client's budget? Because a budget, believe it or not, is very, very, very important. Sometimes the client might want the very best, but they don't have the budget to afford it. Sometimes the client can afford the very best, but for whatever reason, they're leaning towards the more entry-level tech products. Your job is to figure out the puzzle. 
And if you know their belief in insurance, if you know what type of insurance they want, if you know what dollar amount of insurance they need, and you know what budget, you can properly case design. Now, the best thing that was ever done to me is that I was actually put in the client chair. When I first got into the industry, I was, was a new parent. You know, I didn't really know too much about, the, about insurance. I, I mean, I knew it existed. I knew it was important, but I didn't know really what it could do. And so the best thing that was done for me is I was put in the chair of a potential client. And so I want you, while you're doing this module, to put yourself in the seat of a potential client, whether you have insurance or you don't. If you have insurance, great. I love it. You're a believer of insurance. Take advantage of our, of our platform and stress test your current plan and make sure that you're getting the biggest bang for your buck. If you find something better, you might as well take advantage of it. If you don't have insurance, I want you to understand something. I believe that anybody that wants to get into this industry has a belief in insurance. It's hard to sell something you don't believe in. So if you don't have insurance, take this as an, take this as an opportunity to do a financial analysis on yourself. Take this as an opportunity to figure out what your dime analysis is. Take this as an opportunity to figure out what type of insurance is the right insurance for you. And take this as an opportunity to take action. Okay. The reason you want that is because I'll tell you right now, you can't sell shoes barefooted first off. Right. And if you're thinking to yourself, man, you know, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm watching a video. I'm going to be doing this analysis by myself. Am I really going to learn? You'd be amazed how these videos and how this module educates you on this, this type of meeting, this type of sale. Guys, this type of sale, this type of meeting that I'm showing in this module is exactly what I used to do to generate a six figure income. Okay, I'm talking about being in my mid 20s, making $150,000, $160,000 a year at a 50% contract, something that in today's world would have easily paid me $300,000 plus, okay, because of this type of meeting. And do you know how many times I did this type of meeting? I call this meeting a fact finder, a fact finder where, you, where you're actually uncovering the needs and you're having a financial needs analysis done to figure out what you need. This is the meeting that I did to sell hundreds and thousands of different insurance policies. There is a different type of meeting when it comes to retirement. There is a different type of meeting when it comes to figuring out what type of investment portfolio, what kind of time horizon the person needs. That's, that's something we'll train on later. Right now, I'm going to show you what we do with a life insurance analysis or a disability analysis. We're going to show you how that is done. And if you take extensive notes in this module, if you do this module several times on yourself and family members and stuff, I promise you, you're going to learn how to sell high ticket products. You're going to sell, you're going to learn how to bring value to your client. You're going to learn how to feel confident in a meeting because the way that you see this module done is exactly the way that I've done it for now, you know, what, 16, 17 years in this industry. It's this very type of meeting that taught me that. So if you're doing this exercise, you know, without a certified field trainer, if you're someone that was directly recruited by me or directly recruited by, by, by another agency VP, and they're putting you through this process, it's because, not because they don't want to help you face to face, but because one thing we want you to understand is that we live a technology world. And if you really want to run 30, 40, 50 meetings, you're going to want to learn how to be able to run it, leveraging technology, leveraging videos. A lot of our agents use these videos and they send them to clients. A lot of our agents use these videos and they send them to potential prospects and they allow technology to run the business for them. This is an opportunity for you. Now, here's my promise to you. Once you're done with this module, once you've seen a dime analysis, once you've seen the four types of insurances, once you've practiced the approach language, once you've seen the psychology of sales in reference to the questions that are asked, once you've seen all of that and you get to the very bottom, there's two things that more than likely we'll do together. We'll actually run illustrations together. We'll actually look at what it is to submit the application. We'll put together a plan. Maybe it's a combination of different plans that fits your current needs. As long as the information you fill out on your financial needs analysis module is accurate. So when you're asked to do a dime analysis, do it accurately. When you're asked to do a budget, do it accurately. When you're asked, you know, what is your current budget? When you're asked which product it is that you're more interested in, do it accurately. There's going to be questions along the way just to make sure that you're understanding the material, just to make sure you're keeping up with the material. But then towards the very end, we'll link back up and we'll actually start putting together some solutions for you. And by the time you've seen this entire sales cycle, you'll be able to go, that's it. And you're gonna, and I'm gonna say to you, yes, that's it. Or your VP's gonna say to you, that's it. Or your certified trainer's gonna say to you, that's it. That's exactly what we do out on the field each and every single stinking time. And those meetings sometimes generate 3,000 in income, 5,000 in income, 10,000 in income. Maybe they only generate 500 in income, but let's be real. One hour long worth of a meeting, one hour's worth of underwriting, one hour's worth of a delivery, which is three 
hours of your time to generate a minimum of 500 bucks, well worth it. So learn this, master this. If you have a significant other, here's my request. Do this together. Why? Because if I'm not going to meet with a client and not meet with their significant other, why would I put you up to that? Okay, that's called a one-legged appointment. I would never put you up to that. So if you have a significant other that you collaborate with, live with, where finances are, are joined, you know, goals are joined, you should be doing this analysis together. So take some time to do it. Go to a quiet place. Get a notepad with you. Really do it for yourself while you're learning and, put, and putting the right plans in place for yourself and for your family. And I look forward to chatting with you afterwards, after you've done it, so I can hear your feedback, your experiences, and what you've learned. Have a good one. Be blessed. Be safe. Bye-bye.